Let's all stand, brothers and sisters. We shall do the end of this. We shall pray the end of this. In the name of the Father, come the Son of the Holy Spirit. The angel of the Lord appeared to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. And the Word was made in flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth and beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, the way to whom the incarnation of Christ God's Son was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall shall be. World of God. Amen. Our Lady of Perpetual Health. Amen. Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Amen. And our Lady of Guadalupe. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We come before the Blessed Sacrament, and we remember the people whom we would like to pray for. We especially pray for the intentions of the following who are sick. We pray for Patrick McMahon. Marsha Sagnaro, Ben Moyarzo, Jess Matthew Gall, Robert Coyle, Linda Bedroni, Patsy Hack, Lucille Doyle, Ronald Naturo, Milagros Anson, Jacob Javier, Magdalena Hanson, Patty Muller, Barbara Michelle Alwin. We pray to for two uh, children very sick. We pray for Troy Jason Avenue and Sebastian. We pray for Betty Cox and Bob Downing, as well as Casey and Louis Ferrari. We also include the intentions of the Berkeley family, for the uh, faithful departed, for Norma Salaria, um, Laverne Moyarzo, Jim Barrett, Tom Kenefick and Fred Farrell. Let's all be here. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paradise. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, your most chaste spouse. Blessed be God. 
those angels and the saints. So we shall do the procession, and I would like to request uh, the family will be lighting the advent ring, the advent candle, to join the procession. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, and our response is, who made heaven and earth. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. Lord God, your church, 
joyfully awaits the coming of its Savior, who enlightens our hearts and dispels the darkness of ignorance and sin. Pour forth your blessings upon us, upon this family, as we light the candles, or the candle, the first candle of our Advent dreams. May its light reflect the splendor of Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Coming together as God's sons and daughters, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. And we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done, and in what I've failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to an everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom, 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and Judah. In those days, in that time, I will raise up for David a just shoot. He shall do what is right and just in the land. In those days, Judah shall be saved. And Jerusalem shall dwell secure. This is what they shall call her, the Lord our justice, the word of the Lord. For the sponsorial side, to you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Your ways, O Lord, Make known to me, teach me your paths, guide me in your truth, and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and for you I wait all the day. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice, and he teaches the humble his way. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we have for you, so as to strengthen your hearts to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father, at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his holy ones. Amen. Finally, brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that, as you received from us, how you should conduct yourselves to please God, and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is all stand. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 
you with me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, There will be signs in the sun, the moon and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that they catch you by surprise like a trap. For the day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. My dear sisters, my dear brothers, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. You see, Advent comes from the, the root word ad, Latin, it's Latin ad, and venire. Ad means to, venire means to arrive or to come. Now, we put this two together and we try to understand the fact that the season of Advent is a time of waiting for the coming of our Savior called Jesus Christ. Now, for the sake of the children, I want you to remember this. In our Catholic faith, we have many, many symbols that we have to try to understand. Look, look at this Advent wreath. This Advent wreath has one, two, three, four, four candles. Now they have different colors. Purple, the purple color, or color, there's a movie, Color Purple. It's a beautiful movie, but it doesn't have anything to do with purple right here. The purple color means waiting. It means we have to be vigilant. That means to pay attention, to be alert at the coming of this white candle representing Jesus, our Savior. On the 24th, the eve of 24th, we know that we celebrate the birth of Jesus. So there are four beings. Each one has a symbol. This one, the big one, the big candle represents the expectation. Anticipation, that's another song. Anticipation. <laughs> that's my generation. So, you have four candles. This one represents patient waiting. And this, this represents hope. We patiently wait with hope. And then we patiently wait with joy. Hey, so rejoice because one more week we will celebrate the birthday of Jesus. And the fourth week is we patiently wait with anticipation, with hope, with joy, and we expect 
the Prince of Peace to give us peace of mind, heart, and soul. Now children, remember, look, green pine leaves, what does this represent? This is eternal, it's perennial, it's going to be forever. The love of Jesus for us is forever. It's everlasting. And the circular, the circular um, uh, thing represents the unity of the family of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So, we are not only worshiping and adoring Jesus right here, we are making sure that He, Jesus, is together with God the Father and the Holy Spirit. So, this is the Trinitarian unity. And therefore, children, during Advent season, you can pray, Unite my family. Let there be harmony. Let there be patient waiting. Let there be hope. Let there be joy. And let there be peace in my family. Okay? So that's for the kids. Now, you own, I only have five minutes for you. <laughs> now, I'd like us to focus on one important thing. That when we think about the apocalypse, when we think about the eschaton or the last, the last things or the last, the coming, the second coming of Jesus, we have to bear in mind that it is not only one coming, one arrival. Jesus comes to us every day of our lives in the different simple, ordinary events of our lives. But it is important for us to clear our minds, our hearts, and our souls so that we can perceive, we can discern, we can sense the presence of God who is always there in the very different events of our lives. Not only during the times when God is present, but especially during times of trouble, during times of confusion, during times when we don't feel the presence of Jesus or sense His presence. And that is important because Jesus is always right there with us. Whether we like it or not, He is right there. And that is his promise to all of us. We have to always claim his presence. And now, our gospel reading teaches us a moral impediment to sensing the presence of God. What impedes, what makes it difficult for the mind to perceive, for the heart, to connect with the mind and perceive the presence of God so that our souls will be hopeful, will be joyful, will be peaceful as we wait for His coming. What does He say? He pairs two important things, drunkenness and the anxieties of life. I have two minutes left. What is this drunkenness all about? It is our ability as human beings to have selective amnesia. What does that mean? That we cover up the negative things. We do not want to face it because we are afraid. But what is Jesus saying during this time of Advent? Be real. I want you to be strong and courageous. Look at the realities of life without fear. 
Put me right there at the center of your troubles and difficulties because I want you to come face to face with reality. I want you to know that I will be right there giving you the courage, giving you the strength that is deep within you. So, drunkenness could be alcoholism, it could be addiction with drugs because you, we, if we are into drugs, we can temporarily forget. But after the high, then comes the reality again. So we sulk and get depressed. Oh, there's another thing. It is when you are media loca. Oh, what does that mean? You're a little bit crazy. When do you become a little bit crazy? When you cannot sleep at night because of all the things that are going on in this head. You cannot or we cannot let go of what it is that we carry deep within us. There are many trapped things deep within us. Let us erase them. Let us allow Jesus to take out all the things that are negative and that are killing us. Not only killing our minds, but killing our bodies. Why do we need to do this? Because we need freedom, and that is what Jesus is promising us. I am your Savior. I am your Redeemer. Give me a chance to change your life. Changing your life means changing the way we think. We have to be positive. Changing the way we feel. Let us not be controlled by our emotions. And the most important thing of all, is for transformation to take place, we have to change the way we live. We have to make our lifestyle concurrent or, how do you call it, compatible with the will of God the Father. What is His will? That is what we always ask the Lord. What do you want for me, Lord? That is what we're going to ask during this Advent season. What do you want from me, Lord? But for us to be able to focus on the will of God, important thing, do not get drunk too much and do not be anxious. For at the end of the day, the Lord wants to clear our minds, our hearts, and our souls. Enough. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father of all men, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father for all ages, God from God, light from light, True God and true God, begotten by the name, consubstantial the Father, who him in all things remain, for us and men, and for us and nation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and conscious fire. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and the Lord of God, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one who will have the most holy church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In confidence, we speak of our needs. 
we present them to our loving Father, who answers our prayers. That Christ may visit his holy church and keep watch over it always. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ guide the minds of those who govern us to promote the common good according to his will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That communities support family life with safe housing, quality medical care, and good schools. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who await the Lord's coming, especially those near death, be renewed in faith, steadfast in hope, and filled with love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That members of this assembly seek meaningful ways to prepare for the Lord's coming. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, we ask you that you may fill the lives of all our loved ones. Fill them with your presence, with your loving presence. Allow each and every member of our families to truly be attuned to your most holy will. We especially ask you to bless all those who are struggling with addiction. Bless them with the healing. All these we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for your generosity and love for our parish. God bless you all.
fruit of the vine and the word of your right hands will become us our spiritual drink. Thus the man God. Lord God, we ask to please. Be pleased for the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my heart. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my dear sisters, my dear brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. The praise and glory of his name, for our brother and the laws. Accept, we pray, O Father, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate the above be here below, gave for us in Christ of eternity. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ the Lord, for he assumed that his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design we formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels tonight, angels with thrones and dominions, with the hosts, all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are the glory of your reign. O Son, you the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son, you the heights. You are holy. By sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <laughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be proclaimed for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> The mystery of faith, we proclaim the death of the Lord and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your help is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and 
bring her to the borders of charity to help her Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, all the clergy and the religious. Remember also Norma Salaria, Kenny, Laverne Oyarzo, and Jim Barrett. <coughs> our brothers and sisters, our loved ones, friends, relatives, and benefactors who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, your most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint the rest of the child Jesus, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, believing in the fact that we are beloved in the eyes of our dear Father, we present to him all our needs as we say, Our word of God, who are in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. There is healing when we greet one another with the peace of Jesus Christ. Peace to all of you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray you love and mercy. I eat your body and not bring condemnation, but health in mind and body, and a healing remedy. Brothers and sisters, behold our Redeemer. He grants us peace of mind, heart, and soul. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for everlasting.
join me in saying the Anime Christi prayer? Soul of Christ, save me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, liberate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. Oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, hear me. That with your saints, I praise you forever. Amen. The prayer for vocations. Let me ask God to give worthy priests, brothers and sisters to his holy church. O oh God, we are listening to this to bless this diocese of many priests, brothers and sisters. First of all, uh, we want to support our OLPH Women's Club for their gift wrap and booth stall that they're going to have at the Farmer's Market on Saturday the 4th, next Saturday. And I uh, also want to remind you that a week from today, in the Parish Hall, the uh, Women's Club will have coffee and baked treats for us right after the 9 o'clock Mass. And then another reminder, on every Wednesday morning after the 8 o'clock Mass, we pray the novena to Our Lady of Perpetual Help. And then last would be to remind you too of the uh, pastor's visits that are going to start coming this Tuesday, where he will bring the icon of Our Lady of Perpetual Help to those homes that sign up. Now, Karen will be in the vestibule of the church, and if you wish to participate in this, uh, let Karen know and she'll assign a Tuesday date where Father will come at around 6 p.m. and uh, then you'll have the icon for Tuesday night, Wednesday night, so that as a family you can pray. Then on Thursday you can return it to the record so he can do it all over again for I don't know how many Tuesdays. This will go on forever. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. And one last thing. Go grab a copy of the Sunday Bulletin. I wrote uh, a letter of gratitude to all of you, um, especially those who have been very generous and kind, and those who have uh, opened their, their hearts to me. Um, you don't know how, how difficult it is 
for a pastor to start in a new parish, it is difficult. But thank God because you have been very kind to me. Um, you have supported me from the get-go. Thank you. And I'm, I'm sure the Lord will just reward you for your, for your love for your pastor. Um, so I have to love you back. I don't know how to do that. But please pray for me that I may be a good shepherd. My only concern is I don't want to spread myself too thin. I have, I have learned in running, because I used to run, that you have to pace so that you don't exhaust yourself and so that you reach, you, you reach the, the finish line. So I have, I have a tendency also to, to be very active and to wear myself out. When you see that your pastor is beginning to do this, make sure you remind him to slow down um, so that he will be sane. I think that's more important, sane of mind, heart, and soul. So please pray for me that I may continue to serve you, but to be prayerful as well. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Father, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Almighty and Merciful Father, by whose grace you have placed your faith, in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with his blessing. Say, Amen. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Say, Amen. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion and the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Say, Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with your families forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We shall honor Mary, our patroness.